fifth grade lesson 21 and what you're basically learning about today it's called problems about equals groups but basically you're doing word problems using multiplication okay we've done addition word problems and subtraction word problems today we're doing multiplication word problems okay so what you're going to do is hear a story and then we're going to learn how to put it into an equation okay you ready all right so when we're working with a multiplication pattern here's what i want you to see is you're going to be going number of groups times the number in each group equals the total okay now this is going to come in very important so you probably need to write down this method write those things down okay you're going to have a number of groups the number in each group equals the total number of groups times the number in each group and then you'll have a total and i'll explain what i mean by using a story okay but you'll need to refer back to this equation when you're reading a word story and it has to do with multiplication you don't have to write this up here i'm just putting it up here So watch what I'm going to do, Eli, okay? And I want you to listen to my story. Now, it's not going to say the word group, but it's going to have something, um, for example, a box that holds crayons. The box would what is what holds the group, right? If I have four boxes of crayons, then I have four groups of crayons. You see what I'm saying? So they may say there's four cars of people. What's the group? cars because the cars are holding the number of people you get it mm -hmm. so is it going to say the word group in it no it's going to tell us boxes cars whatever okay now this is very important number in each group okay when you hear that word each that shows us what to do with it okay so for example listen to this story Eli. in the pantry there are four boxes of crackers. So I'm going to write down some important information with black. In the pantry, there are four boxes of crackers. So I'm going to put four boxes of crackers. If you had the problem in front of you, you could just underline it. That's important information. No. Okay, so in the pantry, there are four boxes of crackers with 30 crackers in each box 30 crackers in each keyword box then it says this all together how many crackers are in the four boxes okay so help me insert our numbers Eli okay let's first determine what our group is what are what is being grouped together um the boxes the boxes are the groups that's what's holding what holding the crackers right so our group excuse me okay the group in this story, Eli, is what? You just told me. Boxes. Okay, so I'm going to put number of boxes and number in each box. Now, let's read the story, okay? In the pantry, there are four boxes of crackers with 30 crackers in each box. Well, all of a sudden, I hear this word each. So where is that 30 number going to go, in this one or this one? Uh, times number in each. This one, right? So the number in each box is 30. 30. So I'm going to write over here to the side 30. That's where it goes in this spot. Okay? Now, how many boxes do we have? Four. Four. So basically, what we're doing is 4 times 30 equals what? So if I were to write this, 
Um, I'm going to put the bigger number on top just because it's easier to multiply like that. So I'm going to say um, 30, just because I don't have enough room. 30 times 4 equals what? Okay? So listen to the problem again. In the pantry, there are four boxes of crackers with 30 crackers in each box. How many total crackers are there in those four boxes? Okay? Now we're going to multiply. Now do you remember that you can change these around no matter what and they'll still be? So that's why I went on and put the big one on top just because it's easier to multiply. Okay? So I could multiply 6 times 5 and I can multiply 5 times 6. Remember that? So I can change the numbers. Okay. I was just re 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 innovating that. Okay. Now, 30 times 4, let's do this problem together. 4 times 0 is? Uh, 0. 0. Okay, and 4 times 3 is? 12. 12. Good job. Okay, so our final answer, how much, how much crackers do we have total? 120. 120. Okay, so you see how we used this pattern, this equation pattern, Eli, and came up with our answer. Okay? Now, let's try another one. All right, so I'm going to erase this problem, and I'm going to write group in that spot again. Okay. We'll have to determine what our group is. Okay? So listen to this story. This one's about a coach and some players and teams. Okay? The coach separated 48 players. I'm going to write down key information. 48 players. The coach separated 48 players into six teams. With the same number of players on each team. How many players were on each team? The question is, how many players on each team? Group team. Okay, so what is our group about? The team. The teams. Okay, the teams are having groups of players, right? Okay, so I'm going to put team right here. Good job realizing that. Team. Okay, now, do we know the number of teams listed anywhere here? Six. Six teams. So I'm going to put a six right here in this spot. Number of teams, six. Okay. Do we know the number in each team? 48. No, that's 48 players. We're talking about each team. How many players are on each team? Do we know that answer? No, we don't. So I'm going to put a question mark. We don't know that answer. But do we know the total number of players? How much? 48. Okay. So, do you see my problem this time? 6 times what equals 48? Do you know what 6 times what equals 48? Uh, yes. 40. Okay. Yeah. And 6 chicks. What was the answer? Remember? Uh, 8. 8. Okay. So, the number in each team, how many players were in each team? 8. 8. You see that? So, we got our answer. The answer they were looking for was the middle number. This one right here. Okay. So, the answer to this problem would be 8. Okay? Now, when you are, you may see an equation like this. Um, 6 times n equals 48. And remember that n is not anything special. It's just a letter they're putting there to try to help you figure out what n is. And you just told me what n was, and what was n? Uh, 8. So you would say n equals 8. See that? That works. All right, let's do one more problem. Okay? You help me insert all the numbers into the right spot. Okay, we'll put group again, just because that's what we're working with. Okay, now, you ready for this one? Monica raked up 28 bags of leaves. Write down important information. 28 bags of leaves she raked up. On each trip, she could carry away four bags. Four bags for each trip. Do you see how we did that? Mm -hmm. Four bags for each trip. How many trips, 28, okay, wait. 
Uh, how many trips did Monica carry away? How many trips did it take Monica to carry away all the bags? So how many trips did it take Monica to carry away all the bags? Okay. Now, okay, this one's a little tricky, Eli, but what would our group be here? Um, the trip? The trip! Excellent job. That was tricky, okay? Because we're talking about the bags in each trip. Each trip, okay? So I'm going to put the number of trips and I, Eli did a great job discovering that each trip okay now do we know the number of trips she took 28 bags of leaves four bags for each trip do we know the number of trips she took um no nope, yeah. that's because that's the question how many trips did it take we don't know that answer question mark do we know the number in each trip Four uh, bags yes. each trip. Four. See how I did that? Do we know the total number of bags? Um, 28. 28. So look at here, we got a math problem. Okay, I'm going to write it down here. I'm going to use the letter N. N times 4, <coughs> excuse me, equals 28. So what this is asking you is what times 4 equals 28? Um, yeah. Wait. Um, I think it's seven. seven. Very good. Excellent job. N equals seven because seven times four equals twenty-eight. So, how many trips did it take Monica to carry away all the bags? Seven trips to carry them all away. Good job. That's lesson twenty-one.